Hank Paulson has $500 million uh, that he took out of Goldman Sachs when he came to the Treasury. Uh, we don't really know where that $500 million is. They say it's in a blind trust, although I read an article saying that uh, he knows a lot of it is in Goldman Sachs. Is it legitimate to question Hank Paulson's interest here and that he might actually be concerned about his own half a billion dollars that he's got in a bank somewhere? Yeah, I think we need to look at who Hank Paulson is. And you have somebody who's hardly a communist like Gretchen uh, Morganson at the editor financial uh, section of the, edit of the New York Times telling us that he and Bernanke have, quote, very little integrity, that they, quote, lied to us back in 2007 when they said they were going to limit this to the subprime and that they were almost out of this. Surely somebody like that who hasn't had the integrity to tell the truth about the global situation probably has some personal interest. But I, I don't even think the personal interests of Paulson are, are a matter at this point. The main focus right now is that we need to look at these people as the same people that stole the elections, the same people that took us into a war that was an absolute lie, the same people that lied to us about the subprime, the same people that are now leading us into economic and perhaps political dictatorship. Um, we get urgent about this. There you have it. Uh, Roberto and Matt, we really appreciate you guys joining us. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us today.